Hello again, everyone. Tonight, here we have this pump for the 204R. We're going to be opening it up tonight and see what it looks like. So, anyways, you have these five volts. Those are 13 millimeter. Uh, I think the torque for those is supposed to be 18 foot pounds. So, you'll have to loosen those up. I've already went through and loosened them. We're just going to take them out. I'm still waiting on a few parts for this. Uh, I think the only one I have left to wait for now is the... Uh, there's a bushing in here. I've ordered it and it's on the way. It should be here Monday or Tuesday, I think. But we can go ahead and tear this down and clean it all up while we're waiting. Okay, we got our last bolt. We're going to let it drop. pick this up and there's the internals so there's that so as you can see this is still the seven vein but it appears that our uh, this ring here is still in good condition So now, we're going to probably just go ahead with this. Now in order to remove this, this blue spring here has to be compressed. And there's a roll pin that needs to be taken out. So we're going to do that here in a second. But before I do that, I'm going to remove all these internals the way they are. So first we have our ring. The ladies out in order. Next, I'm going to take out the rotor. There we go. Now, the way this rotor set in, oh, there's our guide. We don't need that anymore. That's how it's set in. So. We'll just keep that under there anyways. Now we're going to take all our veins out. Like I said, we don't have to worry about these anymore. We're not going to be using that. Next, after our rotor and our rotor guide, we have our ring. Another one. It's also not broken, so... So now, I'm going to get a screwdriver and try and remove or compress that spring. Now, please keep in mind this is the first pump I've ever torn apart. I don't really know too much of what has to be done here, but I'm going to give it my best shot. So. ring or that spring we'll just leave it sit there if we can next we pull out our I'm not sure what this is called so I'm just going to call it the rotor housing so we'll pull this out note that there's a pin here and there's a little plastic piece right here it's orange in color I'm going to try and hold the little plastic thing with my finger So, there it is. One second, guys. Pull that out. 
And there's actually another small piece that's like rubber underneath that little plastic piece. So I'm just going to leave that in here for right now. So this housing or whatever you call it was laying like this when I removed it. And on the bottom you can see that there's a groove. Leave that. And that groove is for this. So it appears to be a larger ring. And it has a uh, like an o-ring on top of it. So it's like a metal ring with an o-ring on top. So that's underneath our housing. It fits in there like this. So I'm going to pull this pin out. It looks like it can come out. Okay. So there's our pin. It has a little point on it. That goes down. Take a closer look at this. Looks like there's a spring and possibly an O-ring underneath that pin. Just for right now, we're going to leave that alone. But can you see in there that bushing? See how it has all these spots? It's all messed up. That's the one I'm waiting on, this bushing in here. So they're a special tool to remove this bushing and install it. But honestly, I think I can get away with using my cam bearing tool basically the same thing. I don't see why I couldn't use it. So on the outside of the body we have this o-ring. It's a large o-ring. I'm going to see if I can pull it out. It's just a note about this. I'm trying not to score up the... the... Um, the groove that the... Uh, seal sits in because I don't want this leaking. Let me grab something else real fast. I'm actually going to cut it because I don't need it anymore. Now if you end up cutting it, just be careful you don't dig into the aluminum. There it is. Now something to note with this, see how it has a stripe, the other side's black. You want to have it so the stripe's facing out because it's hard to see, but this is flat back here and then it's tapered in and it's like a flat again. So there's a specific shape to this o-ring. You want to make sure the stripe is facing out. So that's about the basics of it. That's about as far as I'm going to tear it down. I may, uh, I may remove some of these valves. I think there's one up here too. I'm not sure. I don't want to get too involved with it. Because like I said, I don't know what I'm doing. But the next thing will be replacing this stator shaft. Also, there's a oil return hole that you have to drill out whenever you do this 10 vein conversion. So... I'll be doing that too. But anyways, that's about the basics of tearing one of these down. Um, I hope I've helped anyone who's had any questions. And if anyone has any questions, uh, just feel free to ask. I'll try and answer them to the best of my ability. All right, thanks for watching. And the next episode should be the either the bushing install, the removal and install of this uh, old bushing and installing the new one or the stator shaft replacement. So anyways, thanks again for watching.